Hi, Bruce Jones here from Maps for Design, and thank you for joining me today in this training tutorial. So we had a really good question that came in from a, a user of our maps, our editable PowerPoint maps, on how to add additional cities to our map. So that's a great question. I'm going to show you a couple different ways to do that, how easy they are to customize, and you can add additional elements. So we're just going to use, for an example here, we're going to use one of our Ohio maps. Um, it's one of the state maps, and uh, this map is fully editable all the different elements I'm just going to click on here are fully editable. So whenever I start on a project on a map, I always sort of make a copy of it. Like so I'm just going to drag around it with my pointer. I'm just going to do copy the regular way you copy. These are fully editable maps in PowerPoint. I'm just going to add a new slide. So I'm always just sort of working on the slide and not just start to, uh, touching the original. So let's just paste this on here. The second thing I like to do, um, especially because this is just kind of a small state on a big screen and make it a little easier, so I'm just going to make it a little larger. So I can use my right click on my mouse, or if I'm on a Mac, which is what I'm on, I'm going to hold the control key. And I'm just going to group it, and this will allow me to easily enlarge my map, make it a little easier to work on. And you'll notice that the map enlarged, but the type didn't scale. And that's a feature of PowerPoint that type doesn't really scale, but everything else does. So in that case, all I'm going to do is come up here while it's still grouped and just increase the point size to bring everything back up to its, its normal size. OK, so the simplest way to do it is all of these are just separate elements. Okay, let's just ungroup this. And I'm going to, let's say, put a city right here. I can just come to any element on here. I'm going to click on it with my pointer. And you'll notice it turns into that little star. That means it'll click an object. And I can use the duplicate key um, right up in here, edit, uh, duplicate, or I can do command D or copy paste. But basically, I want to make a second one. So I keep the, the everything uniform. I'm just going to move it over here like so. And then I'm just going to come to the type. And you'll notice on type on PowerPoint, if I'm inside the box with my type tool, I can select and change type. If I'm on this little frame or on the outside, it changes to that little star pattern. And I can, um, it's an object. And again, I can just sort of duplicate it, just move it over here. And uh, there you go. And just type this to be the new city name. Super easy. I can do as many of those as I want and just jump around. Um, what I would do is have a map of, uh, a reference map of somewhere else of where you want to put these things. Let's say that you want to do a little more, you want to be a little finer with it, or you have a, a few more you need to put on here than just sort of one or two. So I can go to my, uh, go to Google, and I can grab uh, a map of Ohio and use it as a template. So let's go do that. And I'm just going to get my Google up here. Let's go to Google. All right, we have Google. And in Google, I am just going to type map of Ohio, because maybe I don't know where the cities are. So I'm just going to do map of Ohio. And up will come just maps of Ohio. I can grab any one of these. So I'm just going to grab this one right here. And we're not going to copy this exactly. We're just going to use it as a reference for our map. So we can just sort of figure out where things are by using this as a as a reference for these cities or as a template. I'm going to show you both of those. <clears throat> so I can, depending on the map, I can right click on this map or hold down my control key and I can just do save image and that will save it to my hard drive. And for me, it goes into my download folder. I could also do screen capture and just do something like this and just screen capture um, my state. So pretty easy to do. However I get it, I can put it in. I can take a picture with my phone and do it and send it over to my computer. All right. So let's, so we've done that. Let's come back to our map and bring that up here. Let's get our map back, our map back up. All right. So now I have the map and I want to sort of put some extra cities on it. So I'm going to come over to insert picture from file, go search for it, and up comes my map that I just grabbed. And I'm just using this as a reference. We're not duplicating this map or you know stealing this map. We're just using it as a reference. And I'm going to just sort of downsize this a little bit, place it right beside here. And now I can see where these towns are. Maybe I wanted to put Marion, and it's right in here, or um, 
you know, Bowling Green. I can see it's about there on the road, so I can go and add the, the other one. Um, if I needed to be a little more accurate with things, I could also use this as a template. So to do that, I'm just going to click on my map, and everything is fillable and changeable. All the colors and everything, all these are separate elements that you see on here, and they're all customizable. I'm just going to click on the state, come up to my screen fill, and make it no fill. And then I'm just going to move my map on top of it, come up to Arrange, Send to Back. And I can just sort of size and adjust this, you know, close enough. I don't have to be perfect, but I'm just trying to get an estimate of where these things are. This is, these are, um, you know, sort of uh, close enough maps for the thing. And I can even rotate this a little bit like so. And I can just kind of get this in here and figure out. And now I can see... Now I can zoom in a little bit, and now I can come in here and do the same thing. I can grab one of my the city uh, little locator dot. I can duplicate it. I can put it right here on top of Marion. I can come grab some type, and you could do this pretty quick. Quickly, you can add quite a few uh, cities on your map in no time at all. So there, I've just done Marion. All right, so we can just kind of place that there. That's that's close enough. I wanted to add a road. I could just come up here to my drawing tools. I think it's in the shapes. I like the um, the freeform tool. Where's my freeform tool? Um, I think it's this one. Or I could even just sort of draw this. I could add another road uh, coming across like so. And then I can change the, um, the weights and things like that up at the top, up in this drawing area up here. I believe it's in here, shape fill, um, or maybe it's in here. Yep, there it is, weights. So I could change the road, the colors, the size, all that kind of stuff. So and then once I'm done, then I can just take this out, throw it away, delete it. It's gone. I can click on my outer frame, come up to shape fill, add my color back in, and I'm ready to go. So pretty simple thing to do um, to customize your, your map. And uh, two ways we did it, you can just sort of estimate, put it where it is, make a duplicate the dot of one of the other cities, take the name, duplicate it, change it, move it into the place. Or if you need to put, add more things and you're trying to be a little more careful about it, um, you can uh, go grab something off of Google, use it as a template underneath, and then you'll see where all the cities are. And again, just go bang, 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 bang around um, and put everything down. And that's where you go. So, all right. Thank you. We love the questions. Uh, any other questions, send them along and just go to the contact form and uh, try to put get a quickie video on how to uh, do whatever it is you need to do. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.